Hey, what's happening, guys? I have got a classic circuit for you today that you definitely should know. And it's a simple volume control. I really, yes, I should have covered this earlier because I've gotten a few messages over the last year or so asking me how to add a volume control to an audio circuit. And while I'm no audio engineer, it's, it's pretty simple to do. So what I have set up here is just about the simplest audio amplifier you can have. <clears throat> This is an LM386, and it's set up in its what I call its simple configuration, so it just has a gain of 20. You can see pin 2 is going to ground, pin 4 is going to ground, and pin 3 is our input pin. Pin 5 is our output, pin 6 is our VS, or our, you know, voltage in. Now, pin 5 is our output, and it is going over to this 220 microfarad output capacitor. It's also going through this 0.022 um, polyester cap through a 10 ohm resistor to ground, which is directly off of the LM386 data sheet. So when you're wanting to, new, wanting to know about a new circuit or work with a new component, your first place to go is the data sheet. So just go to Google and Google up LM386 data sheet. And you're going to get this, what, like 10-page document that has everything you've ever wanted to know about an LM386. So that's all we're going to talk about the LM386 today because we're here to talk about a volume control. So here is our circuit. I have it hooked up. I'm going to energize the 386 and our output. So there's our output signal. And if I come in here... And I probe that. You can see it there, 439.8. I put in 440 hertz. And our peak-to-peak -peak voltage is 12. Even though I'm putting in uh, two, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn off the. Uh, even though I'm putting in two volts, and we should have a gain of 20. You can see I have a constant voltage on there, limiting it. So that's why we're only getting that much gain. Now. How would you go about adding a volume control to this? Well, if you look at the LM386 data sheet, it's going to show you that you could put a, a, a volume control on the front end, but I'm going to show you how to put a volume control on the back end, which is, I don't know, where I like it. So I'm just going to remove the positive input for our speaker for now. And what we're going to put in its place it's a simple uh, tremor potentiometer. All we're doing with the volume control, and this, this is the key to understanding a volume control, is we're putting some of the signal, we're, we're directing some of the signal to ground. So we've got our three pins here. On this left pin is going to be our input signal. The right pin is what we're going to send to ground, and the center pin is going to go out to our speaker. So left pin is going to connect where the speaker did before. Okay. And then we'll plug... I'm going to have to pull this back one just so it fits better. We'll plug our speaker output into the center pin, the wiper of the potentiometer. And then our left pin, we simply route to ground. Just like that. And now I'll power up the LM386, and I'll send the input signal in 440 hertz again. Now you hear how low that is? I can adjust that. And if we come in here and probe that signal, bring it up here to the scope. So there we are, and that's We'll put it at about 50% gain. So there it is at 50% gain. You can see our voltage peak to peak is 9.2 volts. As I turn it to the right towards the ground, it goes down. Sorry, I have this in the wrong place. Let's try that again. There we go. So, loud, soft. And right there, you can see where it starts clipping, which is at about nine point. Yeah, we'll 
we'll call it about 8.2 volts. When we get over that, we're clipping out the circuit. So I know this is a short video, but this is a pretty simple subject. All you have to do is add a trimmer potentiometer with your input signal going to one side, what you're bleeding the ground to the other side, and the wiper going out to your speaker. This will work with any audio circuit. Play around with the values for the potentiometer to find out what works best for you. Well, that's it. I told you it was simple today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons, and a big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.